Hello everybody. Today we're going to be making a pulley. When we're done, it should be identical to the one that you see on the screen here. And what a pulley does, or what it is, is essentially it's a wheel and axle, and it's used to change the direction uh, of a force, or used to increase the speed or torque of an input force to the output. All right, there's typically going to be an axle or a shaft that's inserted into the pulley. And when used with another pulley, you can increase speed or torque. So you may have seen these before. They're used in a lot of mechanical devices. So we're going to want to make sure that we're creating this in our shared folder that's uh, called Turbine. And once you've created the new document, we'll create a part. Um, I've got a couple tabs here. We're going to call this first pulley. Um, you can hit rename. We'll call it pulley one. You can see I have my practice one here, but this will be the one that I'll create with you. What we're going to do first is we'll create a, a sketch and a profile of. Um, let's see, here's a good way to show it. Of basically this edge going up and around, and then that's going to get a raw a revolve down and around. We're going to focus on just drawing the right side and then mirroring it and then revolving it. Okay. So let's get started on that right side. So we're going to hit sketch. We're going to go on to the front of our pulley, and we're going to start drawing some lines. The first line is going to be the inner circle where the belt pretty much rests. That's going to be 0.5 inches over. And when we're done, it will be one full inch, but we'll use the mirror tool to, to actually save us a little bit of time and work. It's going to go up at an angle, kind of a steep angle like this. We're not too concerned with the angle. I'm going to show you some dimensions that will uh, square it up and put it exactly where we need it. But something like this over to the right. And then we're going to draw another horizontal line that's going to be 0.25. All right. Now I'm going to exit out of my line chain tool, and I'm going to start to make some dimensions to, to square this up and make it. Um, to the correct specs. So the first thing is the height of the pulley from the center, the midpoint, um, is going to be 3.5 after it's been revolved. Okay, so we need to figure out what half of that's going to be because pretty much what we're working with now is a radius. So we could get a calculator out or do it in your head, or you could take the shortcut and just 3.5 divided by 2. It's obviously going to be 1.75, but there is a tr little, little shortcut for you. That's going to give us our height up to the pulley. And then to the top of our, our pulley, we're going to edit this dimension. There we go. I have some issues with this. Let's try grabbing this line first. There we go. Okay, the overall height of the entire pulley is going to be 5.5. And again, half of that, you could type it right into there. Let the, the computer do the arithmetic, but it'd be 2.75. The other thing that we need to make sure that we change is the, the width. It's going to be 2 inches overall. And obviously half of two is one, so I don't need the computer to do the arith arithmetic for that for me. Now, if you have these three dimensions and these two lines drawn properly, the angle of this doesn't matter. Okay, it's all going to be the same. What I am going to do now is close off the side by drawing a vertical line down. And now I'm going to select the entire right side of the, the top pulley. And I'm going to hit mirror and then select that vertical line there. That should copy it over to the left side. All right, so it saves you a little bit of work. 
instead of having to go all the way back across. All right, next, when we revolve this, it would revolve as a solid and there would be no hole in the center. We could go and just drill that hole out or extrude that out later, um, but it's easier to probably just create it now. And I'm gonna do that by just drawing a vertical line across, escape, <clears throat> grab the dimension tool, and I'm gonna set that, it's gonna be 0 0.75 when we're done. Okay, so we could type in 0.75 divided by two. That's gonna give us point, it's actually 375, but it's, it's rounding to the nearest uh, hundredth. All right, now I have these two lines right here that I need to trim. So we're gonna use the trim tool and I'm just gonna come down and delete these little segments right here so that this will be open as it revolves. And this will all make a lot more sense um, when we do in fact hit revolve in just a bit. All right, now the last thing that we need to do is draw one more line and we're just gonna copy over this horizontal line that all of our dimensions are coming off of. And this line is the gonna be the axis that we're gonna revolve around. So I'm gonna actually click on this and make it a construction line. And a construction line is just kind of a placeholder. It's, it's something that we can click on and use as a reference um, when we get to our next step. All right, so I'm going to Zoom in so that you can see all these dimensions clearly. This one down. And right now would be a good time to pause and make sure that you have all these dimensions. All right, so once everything is laid out correctly, check that off. And we're gonna go up and use the Revolve tool. All right, it's going to be a solid revolve, and the sketch that we're going to use is obviously sketch one. So if this box is highlighted, click on sketch one. The revolve axis is going to be this line here, and if you hit uh, the mate connector, it will choose that line and revolve it around. All right, now again. Why did we lift that up away from the revolve or the revolve axis? So that we could create that hole in the center. Like I said, we could just punch it out, but it's another step that we can eliminate by just doing a little extra work in our initial sketch for our revolve. Okay. All right. Now looking back at our original pulley, you can see that there are some extra holes that have been eliminated. I want you to take a minute and think about why would that be beneficial to a, any type of machine? All right, well, I'll tell you. Um, by drilling holes out, you can eliminate some of the weight of this pulley, which will allow it to spin a little bit faster or with less, uh, less force of the input. Uh, it also can kind of help keep it cool by moving some of the air around there. So the, those are just a couple of reasons why you might um, drill or punch holes out of a pulley. All right, so to do that, what we're gonna do is select this surface and we're gonna sketch on the surface. Flip it over this so that we can see it here. And we wanna drill our hole somewhere that is underneath where the belt's gonna rest. If we drill too far up here, it's going to uh, weaken this outer edge that's gonna be helping to hold the pulley in place. So we wanna eliminate the material basically in this cylinder that I have uh, highlighted right here. So one thing that we can do is over here with the <clears throat> render options, we can, myself over here, we'll come over here and we can do hidden edges visible. 
Now you can see that edge of that inner cylinder where the belt's going to rest. And that will help us ensure that we're going to drill through this material here and not up here. So go and grab our circle tool. I'm going to start this first circle. I want to make sure that it's on this vertical axis here. Let's drag it out. And this circle is going to be 0.5. Grab my dimension tool from the center of that circle down to this horizontal line. We're going to do a distance of 1.25. All right. And now you can see that it's within that inner cylinder. It shouldn't really weaken um, where the belt's going to rest too much. There's still plenty of material that is around the center axle, which is going to take a lot of stress. Um, so this is a pretty good location for it. Okay, now we'll use ex the extrude tool to punch that through. Remove material. And now at this point, you might want to turn it back on to shaded. You kind of see what you're, what you're working with here. We'll remove material. Instead of doing blind, I'm going to go up to next. And that should just push it through to the other side. All right. Now, if we look back at it, my example here, there are eight equally spaced holes drilled out. And to do that, I'll zoom out a little bit. We are going to use this tool here. Okay. The default is a linear pattern. So this is what you're looking for in these top tools here. And there's a drop down where you can do circular patterns. So it's going to follow an axis. All right. Now, this is what I always forget. The part pattern. No, we want a featured pattern. Okay, I always forget that. And when you do part pattern, it won't allow you to click on that last extrusion. And I get really frustrated. Um, so make sure you go to feature pattern. That's going to allow you to go and grab that extrusion there. Drops it right in that blue box. And now the axis of the pattern, choose the mate here. Make sure that you're choosing this axis here. And the default is going to go to four holes that are spaced 90 degrees apart. We're going to change that to eight. That will give us eight holes equally spaced apart. Or we could play with the angles, um, but I'm just going to let the computer do it. All right. So there you have it. There's your pulley. Again, make sure that it's created in that initial folder. If you didn't do so, you can always move it or save it or share it in that direction. Um, but we'll be creating a drawing and you'll be making your own individual pulleys that are going to be either a little larger or a little smaller. Um, that will fit either on the turbine or on the generator as we move forward. All right, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time.